lied. Carla. I told that fine human woman you kept nothing from each other. My sweet, my only. Wednesday was a shot about the boy and she didn't want to worry you. Oh, so you didn't dare tell me because I'm such a terrible mother? You're a wonderful mother. And look at the thanks I get. I gave up my dreams for the sake of this family. I wanted to travel. I wanted to see Paris. I never got to see the sewers of Paris, Gomez. <laughs> and now I never will. Carla. So that's how it ends. Alone and forgotten in a tiny room, living off cat food and broken dreams. That's what happens to mothers. Look at Grandma. She came to stay for the weekend. The weeks turned into months. It's 12 years later, and she's still up there, deceived, deluded, smoking weed in the attic. <laughs> A grandma. Well, I'm not going to end up like your mother. My mother? Mm -hmm. I thought she was your mother. <laughs> Seriously, Carla, who is that woman? You lied to me. I can't live with that. Carla, I have the urge to take you in my arms. Not today. But Carla... Out! My daughter's getting married. I can't believe it's true. She doesn't ask her mother before she says, I do. And how about my husband, inconstant, naive? This evening's getting serious, these Ohioans won't leave. But I can't let these latest troubles rob me of my bliss. For when I'm scared of true disaster, I remember this. Death is just around the corner. Could be on a speeding train, it could be underwater, it could be too 